Hello everyone. Welcome back to another Linux tutorial. Today we are going to discuss about these commands. So let's get started. Click the menu button and search for terminal. Choose the terminal option and click on that. You can use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus Alt plus T to open terminal. The first command we are going to see is date. The date command will shows the current day, month, date, the time and the year. The next command we are going to see is C, A, L, which stands for calendar. Running this command will shows the current month and date in ordinary calendar style. Is it cool? How to know the disk usage from terminal? DF is the command used for that. Type DF and hit enter. Now you can see the details about each partition in your hard drive. Which will shows the available space, used space and some other details about each partition. But the numbers are look like very difficult to understand. So run the DF command with an argument H. Which will shows the numbers in a human readable form. Now the numbers are look like more familiar. Here M stands for megabyte and G stands for gigabyte. Free is in another command, used to know the disk usage details of Linux partitions. Run free with argument H. This will shows the partitions of Linux. Here I have two partitions, one is used for storage, and another is swap. We will talk about the Linux file system in the coming tutorials. The next command we are going to talk is file. File is a command used to know the type of a file. Go to the desktop folder by CD desktop. Run ls to show the contents. Run file tor to check the type of tor. Which is showing that tor is ASCII test file. Now let's try with an another one. Run file cam and see the results. Which is showing that cam is a directory, that means it is a folder. Let's try with one more file type, run file adapt a gtk theme zip, which is identified as a zip archive data. Now let's discuss about creating files in Linux using terminal. We are using nano for creating and editing texts. Nano is a text editor having command line interface. Let's see how we can use nano. Type nano and name of the file including extension. Here I am creating a file named test.txt. Running the command will open the test editor. You can type the text here for example, hello everyone. Use the keys Ctrl plus O to write out. Enter the file name and hit enter. Use Ctrl plus X to exit. Now you can see, a new text file was created with name test in desktop. Run the command again. This time instead of creating new file, it opens the test file already created. So the nano can be used to create a test file as well as to edit the test files. Touch is the next command we are going to discuss. It is used to create any type of blank files, for example run touch text 2txt which will create a blank text file named test2. To edit the test2 file, open it using nano text editor. Type what you want, and write out. The next test editor we are going to discuss is VI. VI is also a command line text editor. Run VI test 2txt to open the file. There are two modes in VI, insert mode and edit mode. In input mode, you may input or enter content into the file. In edit mode you can move around the file. Perform actions such as deleting, copying, search and replace saving etc. Use escape to exit if you are in insert mode. Use capital letters easy to exit in edit mode. Less is the next command we are going to discuss. Less command is Linux utility, which can be used to read contents of text file. Run less text 2txt which will opens the text file. Keep in mind that it is a text viewer, not a text editor. These are the commonly used command line text editors and viewers. DU stands for disk usage. 
which is used to estimate the file space usage. Running this command will shows the information of disk usage of each file and folder in the current working directory, to understand run du with argument h. Now the numbers are more understandable. As you can see my cam folder uses 1.9 GB of memory, the Android folder uses 158 MB of memory and so on. Ping is the next command we are going to see. It is a software utility used to test the reachability of a host on an IP network. Let's see how to ping in Linux. Type ping google.com, you can use any website address or IP here. Hit enter, which will shows the results like response time, upload speed, download speed and so on. Ping can be used for troubleshooting to test connectivity. Better ping means better connection. That's all for today. We will talk about input-output redirection in the next tutorial. So hit the bell icon and subscribe. Thank you for watching, like share subscribe.